Today, we dive deep into the recent breakthroughs from the James Webb Space Telescope, which might have just changed the game in exoplanet exploration. We're exploring the detection of an atmosphere around 55 Cancri E, just 41 light years away, and why this discovery is crucial in our quest to understand the universe. In this video, we will discuss the properties of this super Earth and the advanced technology that enabled these discoveries, exploring their impact on our understanding of other worlds. 55 Cancri is a planet located within the constellation of Cancer, surprisingly close to Earth at just 41 light years away, yet presenting an environment that starkly contrasts with our own. Known as a super Earth, 55 Cancri E boasts a diameter nearly twice that of our planet, with a density and mass that suggest a rocky composition, similar yet significantly larger than Earth. This planet orbits its star so closely that a single year lasts just 18 hours. Due to its close proximity to the star, it experiences extreme temperatures high enough to melt rock, resulting in a surface potentially covered in a bubbling magma ocean. The tight orbit also likely means the planet is tidally locked, with one side perpetually facing the star, bathed in continuous daylight while the opposite side remains in constant darkness. It also amazes scientists with its potential to reshape our understanding of planetary science. Utilizing Webb's exceptional observational capabilities, researchers have discovered signs of an atmosphere, challenging the prevailing theories about atmospheric retention under severe conditions. Typically, a planet so close to its star would lose its atmosphere to stellar winds and radiation, but 55 Cancri appears to maintain its gaseous layer. Webb, equipped with sophisticated technology such as the near-infrared camera, NIR cam, and the mid-infrared instrument, EMIRI, has enabled astronomers to detect and analyze light in a way previously thought impossible. In the case of 55 Cancri E, Webb utilized these instruments to observe the planet as it passed behind its star, a phenomenon known as a secondary eclipse. This method is crucial because it allows scientists to isolate the light from the planet by subtracting the overwhelming glare of the star when the planet is hidden. This planet is more than just a molten rock. As mentioned, it's a dynamic world that could exhibit complex atmospheric chemistry. Webb's observations have detected carbon monoxide and possibly carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which are often linked to volcanic activity or outgassing from a molten surface. These findings indicate that, despite extreme temperatures reaching up to 2400 degrees Celsius on the day side, there is a robust and potentially thick atmosphere capable of absorbing and redistributing heat. This redistribution of heat is crucial because it points to a more complex climate system on the planet. The temperatures recorded by Webb were significantly cooler than expected, with the day side only reaching about 1500 degrees Celsius. This is a strong indication that the atmosphere is capable of moving heat from the day side to the night side effectively challenging previous models which suggested that any atmosphere in such conditions would be stripped away or rendered inert. Such comprehensive analysis enhances our understanding of these planets, shedding light on their habitability and evolutionary processes. The rocky planets in our solar system, such as Earth, Mars, Mercury, and Venus, have unique geological histories shaped by cosmic events and geophysical processes. Understanding these processes provides insights into the formation of planets like 55 Cancri A. By studying the impacts, tectonics, and volcanic activities that have shaped our neighboring planets, we gain valuable context for interpreting data from distant worlds 
and assessing their potential to support life. Rocky planets, also known as terrestrial planets, begin their life as molten bodies formed from the accretion of dust and rock in the protoplanetary disk surrounding a young star. The early solar system was a violent place, with frequent collisions contributing to the planet's growth and early development. As these bodies cool over time, they solidify into dense rocky worlds with a core, mantle, and crust. The heat from radioactive decay and the residual heat from their formation drives further geological activity. The surfaces of rocky planets are cataloged by the scars of their raging past, which impact craters. These craters are formed when asteroids, comets, or other space debris collide with the planet, excavating large bowls in the crust. The size, shape, and distribution of these craters provide valuable insights into the age and history of the planetary surfaces. For instance, a surface with numerous craters is generally older than one with fewer markings. Such impacts have not only shaped the physical landscape, but have also influenced the geological processes by triggering seismic activity or even volcanic eruptions. Unlike the one-plate lithospheres of other rocky planets, Earth's lithosphere is divided into several tectonic plates that continually move, interact, and reshape the planet's surface. These tectonic activities lead to the formation of mountains, earthquakes, and volcanic activity as plates diverge, converge, or slide past one another. On other rocky planets with a single lithospheric plate, the cooling and contraction of the planet can lead to the formation of wrinkle ridges and fault scarps, as seen on Mercury and Mars. This contraction is a planet-wide response to cooling, which causes the crust to buckle and break. Volcanism is another significant geological process, driven by the heat from a planet's inner layers. As a planet cools, magma from the mantle makes its way to the surface, sometimes erupting as lava. These activities are not limited to the formation of mountains and hills. They also create vast lava plains and can contribute to the atmosphere's composition through the release of gases. Evidence of past and present volcanic activity is visible on all rocky planets in our solar system, indicating that they have all experienced significant internal heat at some point in their histories. Erosion plays a crucial role in reshaping the surfaces of rocky planets by breaking down rocks and transporting sediments. This process can be driven by wind, water, ice, or even the impact of celestial debris. On Earth, water and wind are the primary agents of erosion, carving landscapes and redistributing materials from one place to another. Mars with its thin atmosphere, showcases features like dust storms and dried riverbeds, suggesting that water once played a significant role in its geological past. In contrast, Mercury's lack of atmosphere and water means that its surface is shaped mainly by impact cratering and thermal contraction. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the clouds of 55 Cancrii. Today's exploration is not just about understanding a distant planet, it's about expanding our cosmic perspective, learning about the potential for atmospheres in unlikely places, and paving the way for future discoveries that could one day answer the age-old question, are we alone in the universe?